Just yesterday, I told you about China's crackdown on billionaires, about the CCP's campaign against the country's super rich to present a clean image of itself. The story continues. And football is apparently one of Xi Jinping's favorite sports. And even then, it could not survive his crackdown. Football pitches had just started to open up after the strict lockdowns. And now the sport stands threatened by a corruption scandal. It started in November 2022. Li Tai, one of China's most famous football figures, disappeared. Li had coached the men's national team. The Chinese authorities said he was being investigated. And why is that? For suspected serious violations of the law. It then started a domino effect. Sports administrators and professional players were placed under investigation one after another. This includes Chen Shuyuan, the president of the Chinese Football Association, or CFA, Liu Yi, CFA's former Secretary General, Chen Yongliang, CFA's Executive Deputy Secretary General, and the Chinese international player Jin Jingdao, among others. Now, two more officials are facing similar investigations. Huang Song, the head of the CFA's competition department, and Wang Xiaoping, Wang Xiaoping, the chief of its disciplinary committee. Meanwhile, six high-ranking members of China's biggest football training school have also been slapped with life bans over match fixing. It's almost like history is repeating itself. You see, in 2013, 33 Chinese football players and officials were banned for life again for match fixing. This is not what China expected. The country had big ambitions for its football industry. In 2016, the CFA unveiled a plan to build 70,000 football pitches. It aspired to get 50 million people playing the game. Both milestones were to be achieved by 2020. Xi Jinping also wanted China to host the World Cup. But all those dreams went down the drain. By 2021, just shy of 27,000 pitches were built, and this was less than even half of the official target. The interest around football is now waning in China, and why is that? Because of China's poor performance in the sport, the men's national team languishes at 80th place in the global rankings. It has not qualified for the World Cup for over two decades now. And the last time this happened was in 2002. Or is it because of its heavy commercialization? You see, the game is considered super rich as compared to other sports. And as we have been telling you, China has a problem with the super rich. CFA officials have been booked for corruption. And this is the most sweeping crackdown on football since Xi Jinping came to power. Have a look at these figures. According to FIFA, Chinese clubs spent $1.7 billion on international transfers between 2011 and 2020. The spending, in fact, peaked in 2016. The Chinese Super League spent $450 million on incoming transfers. The Chinese authorities were concerned. Why were clubs spending all this money on foreigners? They came up with a solution in 2017. A 100% transfer tax was introduced on foreign players bought for over $6.5 million. And this money was meant to go on uh, towards uh, grassroots development. But experts say it has gone missing. And some worry that the money has disappeared into the pockets of the corrupt officials. And this is what has motivated the crackdown on the football administration. But is that really all? Are the detentions politically motivated? Well, the details are scarce. The alleged offences against the CFA administrators have not been officially revealed, but it is certain that the top brass of the game does not enjoy the same political support that they once did. 
We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.